what we're going to do is we're going to read. Because there are so many demands on teachers, we worked really hard with classroom and ESL teachers to make sure they really could incorporate this into their daily routine. We have some different sentences we're going to say about each page. There are three main goals for this project. First and foremost is to increase the collaboration and consultation of classroom and ESL teachers. That instructional and curricular alignment can really benefit their English learners. When we're meeting, we have a plan. This is what we're going to accomplish. These are the goals that we're going to set. I've really learned how the conversations that I have with teachers can be much more productive and much more focused. You know, part of it is that they have two teachers that are working as a team for them and it's kind of a community that we've built. The second goal of the program, of course, is to increase the language and literacy skills of Latino English learners. So we look to the research to see what strategies are most effective. Oh no, some of the words are out of our sentence frames. I'm going to need your help to put them back. What we're trying to do is really just enhance the things that teachers are already doing for the benefit of developing their English learners' language and their literacy skills. This is not some something new that I'm adding onto my plate. This goes right along with what I'm already doing and it just enhances everything. Let's all say that word. Right. The two pieces combine the collaboration piece and these really powerful strategies has helped me to grow a lot as a teacher. With the modified DRA lesson, my children are understanding the information that I'm trying to teach them on such a deeper level than they were before. The third goal of our program is to help schools incorporate the cultural wealth that their Latino families are bringing. We need to build on that linguistic knowledge that children bring in their first language in order to accelerate English language learning, which is what the research is showing us. The cultural wealth that English language learners bring is their linguistic capital. All the different arts and crafts and music. Things that their families do at home that might connect to what we're learning about. Then the fruits of the labor certainly come. Things like parent participation and the other kinds of things that are indicators of success. O sea, tengo las expectativas para Brandon dentro de la escuela. Aquí me lo han apoyado mucho. A fig is a kind of fruit. Once teachers got into it, it became more natural, part of their daily routine. And now at the end of the year, they're saying, wow, we see this tremendous growth in our English learners. And I'd say additionally, they have really been positive about collaborating with each other. I've realized how essential it is to collaborate and how to collaborate. They have strategies now for working with their students. They feel like there's an approach that can be successful. It seems like we've seen more improvement with certain groups of kids that we've done this DCCS program with. I got a lot out of the cultural awareness. And then I think the collaboration piece has been really good too. We're being very intentional in our planning, of saying how are we working through our kids? What strategies are we going to put in place so that the strategies that I might be using can reach all different learners? And really improving not just for a target audience, but for all kids. That's really a mark of a quality program. It's also showed us that kids can really rise to the occasion. It's very exciting for me to hear from a teacher that one of my children already knew what was happening with this science lesson. My children get to be the shining stars in their class, and that's important for them to get to experience. All right, good job.